Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing very, very well. I'm coming to you absolutely <laughs> bare-faced, which is always a little bit strange. I have literally just washed and dried my hair. That is all I've done this morning because today's video is going to be my updated skincare routine. Now, I did one of these a few months ago and since then, a few of the products that I'm using every day have changed and I do think I have upgraded that routine slightly. It's actually not any more expensive. I think there's only one product in here which is like significantly more expensive but I just feel like I have upgraded the quality, I've upgraded the user experience, and I think my skin is very, very much enjoying it. So I thought we would do our skincare together. So feel free to grab all your bits and bobs and do this along with me. I will be talking you through my evening skincare routine as well at the end. So if you're interested in that, then uh, please do stay tuned and like this video and subscribe and do all of the things because, you know, it's just nice to do. It makes me happy. You feel good because you've made somebody else happy. You know, it's a win-win. Now obviously the most important part of any skincare routine is uh, getting your hair out of your face. I do not understand how people do either their makeup or their skincare with their hair just like down and in their face. Maybe they took it behind their ear. I'm like, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. This is like, it's getting back in a bun and then. The pièce de résistance of, of anything I own. My fluffy pink headband. Now, I was going to wear my much more sophisticated white one and then I was like you know what this headband brings me joy and uh maybe it'll bring somebody else joy too my husband take, always takes the mickey out of me for this and he calls me bowhead I'm a proud bowhead so just to kind of get up close and personal I just wanted to give you a bit of a a shot of my skin so this is my skin literally with nothing on it it is quite a nice sunny day so obviously that is helping me but I didn't plan this, I promise. I can't control the weather. But <laughs> you can see I've got one, one spot there which is kind of clearing up. But other than that, we've got a couple here which I've been thinking about doing something, but I think I've been keeping them at bay. And then the rest of my skin is pretty happy at the moment. I have, look, look at that, look at that. Sunshine glow, sunshine glow. I, I'm sorry, I genuinely did not pick the day where the weather would be great. <laughs> I've often said that I am quite lucky with my genetics when it comes to my skin, but kind of for that reason, I do take a big effort. <laughs> I do take a big effort? I do make a big effort to take a care of it because, you know, it's gonna be with me for a long time. Fingers crossed. So first thing that I do to my skin at all, it's just a really, really simple, cleanse in the shower. I'm not too bothered about what cleanser I use in the morning because all I'm doing is taking off, you know, any grime that's gotten on your face during the night. So I've been using the Lacura Refreshing Face Wash Gel for probably about a year now, like a fair while. It's just your bog standard cleanser, but at the same time, it's really good. This also takes off your makeup pretty well. So I actually really, really enjoy this. It's like less than a pound. It does the job. It's great. I like the fact that it's just a really, really nice like gel consistency. It just feels really nice on the skin. And then I have got one of these Vanity Planet facial cleansing brushes and I use the silicone kind of attachment. I do not think you need one of these, okay? I really, really don't. I got this one about five or six years ago, but they are not cheap. There are a few discount codes knocking around. I wish I had one. I do not. I actually used Sarah's Day. I used her discount code on this, but I, I really enjoy using this, particularly with the silicone little bristles, because it just kind of feels like a little bit of a facial massage. It's just a nice thing to do in the morning. You don't need this, but I do use it. Then once I've gotten out of the shower, got myself all dried off and everything, I go in with this. The Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And this is something that I actually first got in a little mini size. Didn't like it at first because it's very <laughs> strongly scented, but then kind of kept using it because I was like, meh, Ren is like a really good skincare brand. Maybe I should like give this a bit more of a chance, blah, blah, blah. And then basically completely fell in love with it and then bought the big bottle. I have one gripe here. It has this really, really clever little mechanism at the top, which you can use. You just put your cotton pad on and go squish, 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 and it, you know, soaks your cotton pad, 
jobs are good. I don't apply my toners like that. I think it's a massive waste because so much of the product gets wasted in the cotton pad. So what I actually do is I take the little dropper out and I actually just kind of drop it into my hand, which is a kind of a bit, you know, a little bit faffy, but you know what? There are worse problems in the world, to be honest. So I get about five or six little droplets of that, rub it between my hands and then just smooth it onto my skin. I just feel like this way you actually get the full, you know, you get the full experience on your skin rather than wasting loads of it in a cotton bud. I just think that way you waste half your product. <laughs> Next up is one of my new sort of holy grail products, I guess. And it's the Centella Unscented Serum. And this is from Purito. And it's their essential oil-free 49% Centella extract, niacinamide, ceramide, peptide, matacasic acid serum. And I think I may have spoken about this before on here, but I found out about this brand through James Welsh's channel. And I don't know if he was particularly talking about this product but he got me on to going on to Yes Style and then I went down a little bit of a Korean beauty rabbit hole and <laughs> I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. But I especially wanted to mention it says to use one to two pumps and when I first started using this, you can see I'm about just over halfway through it now, I was using two pumps of it. And you know that was exactly what I wanted. My skin was drinking it up. It's this very kind of standard gel consistency and so uh, yeah I was using two pumps of this and I carried on using two pumps blah 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 and then after a while I was like this doesn't seem to be sinking into my skin very nicely anymore and maybe I don't like it as much as I thought like my skin still looks nice but after I've finished using it it feels quite sticky I don't like it blah 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 blah, blah. and then I had the uh, revolutionary idea <laughs> to just use the one pump <laughs> and now it's perfect again so I think if you do start using this product then and I highly recommend you do I really really love it my skin has just been so beautifully balanced since bringing this into my routine then maybe start with the two pumps because your skin will be like mmm yummy but then as your skin kind of gets used to it and sort of balances out you just don't need as much so I just massage that in to my whole face and then anything left on my hands I just run it over my neck I in the evening I will spend a little bit more time looking after my neck by the way this is not a hickey for those of you who don't know I'm actually a professional viola player and this is the mark that we get from our instrument so if you've ever wondered what that is that that is that is what it is I promise I haven't just been getting frisky so whilst I'm letting that kind of sink into my skin, I go in with the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. Now, I am absolutely in agreement with everybody that says you do not need an eye cream, okay? You don't. They're just moisturiser. They're the same thing, just in a smaller tub. But I got this in a little box of things from Cult Beauty, which I've referenced quite a bit because I just think they're awesome. Like, check out the different boxes that they do. They did one which was all, like, female-started brands. I missed it. I was gutted. I sort of was a bit slow on the uptake on that one. But anyway, so I am using this to use it up. And I do really, really like it. Will I buy it again? Probably not, just because, like I said, I, I tend to just really use moisturizer but especially in the morning it's just nice it's just a nice little extra step i will also say because i have very deep set eyes i do try and take quite good care of the skin around my eyes just because i'm very aware that the skin here <laughs> will at some point start kind of drooping down onto my eyelid a little bit i'm just keen to stave that off as long as possible so that's also why i do take time with the moisturizer okay and at this point i go in with my quartz roller and this is something which I've always said, I'm not going to buy one, they're a ridiculous gimmick, do they even do anything? I don't know. But then I saw that they were doing them in my local Aldi, and this is a Lacura one, but it's still rose quartz. Like, it's heavy, good quality, I have seen much more expensive ones for far worse quality, and I was like, eh, why not? And so I got one, and I have to say... This is probably my one of my favourite gadgets <laughs> that I own. If nothing else, okay, if it does nothing else but feel lovely, I'm happy with that. Because it's quartz, 
it's very very cooling on the skin so I literally just run this over pretty much my whole face just help that serum really sink into the skin always pushing it outwards because it does help depuff your face I have noticed it does that but then it's got this smaller sort of attachment on the end which I like to use for going over just around my eyes now here I am not putting any pressure I'm literally just sort of putting it on my skin and then letting the weight of the of the device <laughs> do the rest and whilst I say I don't know if it does anything, I suppose I have noticed a significant reduction in the puffiness above my eye since I've been using this because that's where I tend to get it. So I always, you know, run it over there and run it over my eyebrow and I have found that it has made, it, to me it's made a difference there. Is it placebo? I don't know. But if nothing else, like I said, it just feels lovely. <laughs> and then my last step for the morning is a good old we call them sun creams in the UK, but that feels weird because everybody else says sunscreen. But we sort of call it, kind of call it sun cream. So I'm just going to call it SPF because I feel like that's, that makes sense to everybody. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But this is the Centella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50 plus P P PA plus blah, 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 plus. It's the Purito one. Now, I do know that there has been a bit of a, what's the word? Kerfuffle over how much SPF this actually has in it and everything else. So I really enjoy the formulation of this. I actually need to look into what the actual outcome of all of that was. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure, but I do have to say that the formulation of this is really nice. It's really, really lightweight, sinks into your skin, and I just use this as a moisturiser in the morning, basically, because I don't find that I need a moisturiser as well as this in the morning. It's just too much for my skin. It just feels, ends up feeling heavy and greasy, and we do not want that. Now this, I do take on my neck as well. Like I said, that's where I would take a moisturiser, and I'm basically treating this and so and that's it that is all i do in the morning keep it super super simple i just think if you're getting products that are really good quality ingredients you don't need loads of them and that's why i really enjoy things like this because it's got multiple ingredients in there so i just have to use the one product which means i'm not layering things on top of my face but as you can see that just now it leaves my skin with a lovely, lovely glow to it. And it just feels lovely and moisturised and plumped and happy. And yeah, that's all I do in the morning. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to do a bit of makeup and things. If you want to find out what I've got on my face when I come back, then head over to my Instagram. Handle will be here. And you will see that there is a reel there of what I have been doing. But yes, so hang tight. We shall be back and we will talk through my evening skincare routine. The sun is now out, kind of in full force, so I have retreated to the corner of my bedroom. I hope that is okay. If you're interested in what makeup I've got on my face, then head over to my Instagram. I did a little reel on it yesterday for you watching this. So yeah, just go to my profile and it'll be there. But just super, super simple. I have not tried to take away any of the skincare glow, as you can see. And it is very glowy. But you know, we're all about skincare today, so I'm gonna roll with it. I wanted to very, very quickly chat through my evening skincare routine because it's basically impossible for me to film it because the lighting in our bathroom is just yellow. <laughs> so it's impossible to get a good video. So I thought I'd just talk you through the products really, really quickly. Now I actually have two evening skincare routines because I alternate them. My skin absolutely loves vitamin C and retinol, but I don't like to use them every night because together they're just a little bit much on my skin. And again, like I said earlier, my skin doesn't really like me to layer product. It's quite happy to be left pretty much to its own devices just with a little, a little helping hand here and there. So on day one, if you like, I will go in with a cleanser and my absolute favourite at the moment is the Liqueura Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is fabulous stuff, okay? It will take off any makeup you've got on. It's not oily, it's like a cream, it's like a thick kind of clayey, creamy consistency which I much prefer to like an oily balm. And it's just fabulous, it does the job, no complaints. Then I'll go in with my Vitamin C Serum and this is the one by Purito and it is absolutely fabulous. You'll see it's in this dark 
brown kind of a bottle, which basically just means that it is protected from any UV rays getting to the product. Vitamin C is notoriously unstable <laughs> and it does not like sunlight. So that just kind of protects it. And this stuff has been amazing. This has also got hyaluronic acid in it, which is why I went for this serum. I never tried it before, but I knew I wanted something that could just combine ingredients a little bit more. Vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, both ingredients that my skin absolutely loves. So this has been amazing and I will absolutely be repurchasing this unless something particular, you know, comes across my radar. I have been so happy with this and it's also really affordable. So for a really good quality product, you can't really go wrong. And then on my vitamin C days, I like to go in with quite a heavy moisturizer, just to kind of lock everything in. And I've been using the Lacura Caviar Illumination Anti-Age Night Cream. And this is incredible stuff. It's on the pricier side for Lacura products, but that still means it's like seven pounds. <laughs> so it's not actually that expensive. It comes in this really heavyweight glass packaging, feels really luxurious, smells incredible. This is an intense, moisturizer so I do prefer using this one in the winter as we're moving into the summer months I will probably start using slightly lighter moisturizers but up to this point this is what I've been using and it is fabulous stuff and then on the other day I still start the same I start with my cleanser and wash my face as per usual and then I go in with my retinol now I have been using the ordinaries retinol 1% in squalene and whilst I have loved the effects of this on my skin I don't actually enjoy the user experience which is basically story of my life when it comes to ordinary products because this is in squalene it is an oil and I just don't particularly like the texture of oils on my skin. I think my skin quite likes them, I just don't like the user experience of it. So I won't be repurchasing this but I have to say that this has done lovely things to my skin. So I am actually looking, we're kind of getting towards the bottom of it now, so if anybody has any really good retinol suggestions that I should try that you think have a bit of a nicer user experience than this one, then please do let me know. I will thank you forever. And then because that serum is a bit more moisturising with the oils and everything, I like to go in with a much lighter, less intense moisturiser than the Lacura one. And the one I've been using, you've heard me talk about it before, is the e.l.f. Matte Oil, Con oil Control Lotion, yeah. <laughs> and this has been, I mean you can see I am really scraping the barrel on this one. I have another one. I absolutely love this. For me this is like the perfect moisturiser. It has a lovely light scent to it, kind of mattifies the skin slightly which is quite nice after you've done all your oils and things and yeah just lovely lovely moisturiser. It's also kind of pretty so you know I mean bonus points for that. And that's it, that is everything that I use in my sort of everyday skincare routines. If you would like me to do a video on my favourite kind of treatments and masks and stuff like that, I am more than happy to do that, just let me know. I didn't want to put it in this video because I didn't want this video to get too long and we all know I can talk for England. So <laughs> I will leave this one here but if you have enjoyed it please do give it a like, subscribe to my channel and yeah! It would be so so great to have you and just yeah, comment below, introduce yourself, I love to see who's watching my videos, it's, it's really really fun. And also, I will, on, on the subscribe point, more than half of you that watch these videos are not subscribed to my channel, so um, I mean that's just rude. Obviously joking, I do not think you're rude, please continue to watch my videos, love you.